to drawing furry friends of the saints. In this episode, we will be drawing the horse who was friends with St. Columba of Iona. St. Columba was a monk who lived on the island of Iona in Scotland. When St. Columba was old, an angel appeared to him and told him that his soul would be taken sometime the following Saturday evening. Filled with joy, St. Columba made preparations to make sure the other monks would be prepared when he was gone. On that Saturday, he was walking back from blessing a barn and had to stop halfway for a break. While resting, an old white horse who used to carry pails of milk to the monastery came up and placed his head on St. Columba's chest. The horse began to cry tears and mourn his friend's death just like a person would. St. Columba's servant moved to try to shoo the horse away, but St. Columba stopped him, telling him to leave the horse alone because the Lord had told the horse that St. Columba would be going away and he came to say goodbye to his master. Then St. Columba blessed the horse and he went on his way. Now before we begin our drawing, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, a black or dark colored marker, and whatever else you would like to color and finish your drawing. If at any point in the video you need to catch up, don't be afraid to pause and then start again when you are ready. Let's begin with the horse's head. On the top right side of your paper, draw a circle. To add the horse's muzzle, let's draw a diagonal line down from the right side of your circle. Curve your line around to make the front of the horse's nose and his smile. Now let's add a little U shape for his chin and then one more diagonal line up to connect the horse's muzzle to his head. Moving just below the top of the circle, let's draw a slightly curved line up and then curve it the opposite way back down to make his first ear. Slightly to the right of the ear you just drew, let's draw a diagonal line to the right and then curve it back down to touch the circle. This time you'll notice I did not have my lines cross over the circle. This helps to show his ear is on the other side of his head. Before we continue with the horse's body, let's add one small curved line to the horse's muzzle for his nostril. Okay, now let's draw the horse's body. From the top right side of his head, draw a diagonal line down for his neck. Next, add a parallel diagonal line from the bottom of his head to finish the neck. From the bottom of that line, let's add a slightly curved line and then a straight line down for the front leg. Draw a small diagonal line out, a straight line back, and then one more diagonal line back up to make his first hoof. Add a small backward C shape and then a diagonal line back up, parallel to the line you drew for the front of his leg and then one last little curved line to finish his leg. Moving back to his hoof, let's add a line across to show where the hoof connects to the rest of the leg. A little to the right of the leg you just drew, let's draw a diagonal line down and then another shorter diagonal line out and back to connect with his first leg. Finally, let's add one more line across for his hoof. Moving back up, let's draw a curved line to draw what is called the withers. Before we continue, let's draw a circle about two to three fingers width away from the withers to help us finish the horse's body. Now let's draw a connecting line to finish his back and one more curved connecting line from the front leg to slightly above the bottom of the back circle to draw his belly. Starting from where his belly connects with the back circle, let's draw a diagonal line down to the left and then a line slightly curved back to the right. Draw a short diagonal line out, back, and then back up again to make his hoof. Add a little backward C shape and then let's add a line up and a larger backward C shape to connect his back leg with the circle. A bit to the right of his back leg, let's draw a parallel diagonal line and then a line down, curving a little to the right, back across and up for his hoof. Add that little backward C shape and then one more straight line to touch his other back leg. 
Finish off those legs by adding our little lines across for the hoofs. Next, let's add the horse's hair. Beginning at the top left of the back circle, draw a curved line down, adding some little zigzags for his tail. Curve that line back around and connect it where his back leg meets the circle. Moving up to his ears, draw a zigzag line down from his ear and connect it back with the top of his head to draw his forelock. Next, let's draw his mane. Starting on the other side of his ear, draw a curved line down adding a few zigzags connecting back to the top of his neck. Last but not least, let's add the horse's happy little eye. Draw a short line down and then a curved line across. Now that we've finished drawing the horse, let's erase the lines we don't need. I made these red to make it easier for you to see. You can finish your drawing using whatever art supplies you'd like to color in your horse. If you have time, I'd invite you to look for pictures of horses in books or online to find out more about the beauty that God has given them. And just like that, you've drawn the horse who was friends with St. Columba of Iona. Thank you for drawing with me today. I hope you're inspired to continue drawing for a friends of the saints. May the Lord bless you and keep you always.